Hey yo, Curdy Cool is back on this scene once again. Have I got a great show for you guys today, yo? I mean, first of all, shout out to all the people out there, all my supporters out here, yo. Hey yo, I got a great show today. I mean, I want to do a show about, okay, this Patricia Robinson now has ran off. I'm talking about this adopted grandmother, Patricia Robinson, has ran off with my 16 year old daughter, y'all. This adopted grandmother projecting to be my daughter's grandmother, her grandfather, her father, her uncle, you know, everybody in one package, y'all. This woman is projecting to be it all, y'all. Curdy cool, I, I always wanted the best for my daughter, y'all. Patricia Robinson just do not know how much she have messed up a whole lot of things for my daughter and having a proper upbringing. Number one, you messed over my daughter, Patricia Robinson, by parental alienating her father away from her. This girl grew up without her own flesh and blood father. Now you screwed that up, Patricia Robinson. Now, I want to say this. Okay, you took on the whole full responsibility to take on my Alex. I want to say this, Patricia Robinson. Are you teaching her to be independent once she grows up? You see, like with me, when I was growing up, I had a father and a mother. My mother was always teaching the girls how to cook, how to wash, how to, to take care of the house, how to do basic little things. Because once they grew up, my mother always taught my sisters, you grow up into this world once you turn 18 or 19 years old. I mean, what if you grow up and you don't know how to cook, you don't know how clean you don't know how to wash you don't know you don't know how to do the little simplest things just to take care of yourself my mother always taught my sisters you make sure I mean that she made it a omen every day I don't care if it's one hour a day or whatever we gonna get in this kitchen we gonna get in this house and I'm going to teach my girls how to be good at housekeeping around the house, how to clean up your room, how to make up your bed. I mean, I mean, it, it would be times, yeah. I mean, look, uh, get in here. Let me show you how to wash the dishes. This is the way you put the soap in the washer. This is the way you put the soap in, in, in the sink. Wash the dishes and rinse them off and put them over here in the tray. Or if you want to uh, use the dishwasher, I mean, you rinse everything off. You just take a little brush or whatever, screw up whatever, little debris or whatever on the plates or whatever, rinse it off, put it in the dishwasher. See, here's the thing, yo. I feel like I am the online father. I mean, it's a adopted grandmother here you guys who have totally parental alienated my daughter Alex away from her blood father when I had my rights out there in California she waited until I went back to uh, Houston the next crooked ass uh, adopted grandmother went back in, into the system and just screwed everything up y'all just screwed it all up y'all into her favor and ran her head out just like what her raggedy ass is doing right now today. Running and hiding out, y'all. I'm just keeping it real, baby. 16 years. 
I mean, she been, Patricia Robinson has been showing her big raggedy ass, yo. I mean, that raggedy ass lifestyle. I'm just keeping it real, baby. You make sure, Patricia Robinson, you teach my daughter how to cook, how to clean, how to take care of the house, how to wash your own clothes, you know what I mean? How to sweep the floors, how to do simple little things. I mean, I mean, you may be thinking that, okay, okay, you, uh, uh, it's a whole lot that, that I'm doing to uh, teach this young lady to do different things. No, 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 no. This is to teach her how to be independent when she grew up, when she turned 18 and 19, I want my Lex to be able to do things, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. When I was 13, 14 years old, my father taught his sons how to do any and everything. Yeah. Hey, son, y'all get on out here. I tell you what I'm going to teach you guys today. I'm going to be working on the truck. I'm gonna show you guys how to how to change the oil, how to do a basic tune-up. We were like, what is that, pops? Oh yeah, we're gonna teach you how to do a basic tune-up. You know what I mean? How to uh, take out all the old plugs, put in new plugs, how to set the plugs, how to change the oil, how to change the air filter. Y'all know what I mean? How to do all the proper things, the oil filter. I mean, okay, okay. This is very important, son, because uh, once you grow up, you are going to be out in this world. And if you don't know how to do the little simplest things in your life, you are going to be lost. Now you meet somebody and then they run off and leave you. You don't know how to how to take care of your own self. So now. My dad said, okay, so so we, we taught you how how to tune up your car. And now I want to teach you guys something else. He taught us how to do our own plumbing, yo. During those days, set up the whole toilet system, did all the plumbing with the pipes. We even dug dug this big old well hole out, yo. I'm talking about during those days, we dug we dug it out, baby. Looked like it was over about 50 feet deep, y'all. I'm talking about as wide as a house, y'all. But we dug it out. And, and, and my father taught us how to run the pipes, hook up all the pipes, run it to the, uh, to the toilet, you know, everything. I mean, he taught us how to do all, all of this stuff at 13 and 14 years old, y'all. Okay, that was another thing under our belt. Now, my father, he was always, he was always very active around the house, y'all. Okay, okay, so now, today, son, oh, he, he, was a, he was a carpenter as well. Okay, I need to do some improvements to the house here. I tell you what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing some painting y'all y'all come on out here i want to show y'all how, how this stuff goes and he was a carpenter as well he pull out his little ruler he be measuring he he know okay i got an idea how i'm gonna build this extra room here and this this patio deck and okay he get all his tools he get he would get all his lumber because my dad worked it at the lumber yard and he had his own truck. He would bring back all the lumber. Yeah. I mean, he knew how to do all those configurations. And, and uh, y'all just watch me and work with me. I'm going to show you how to build your own garage. How to, how we're going to add this room. You guys going to help me. We're going to build a whole house, the foundation. Put all the shingles on the house. and Put all the insulation in the house. I mean, he had us learn, learning it all, y'all. How to be independent. Once we grow up, you know what I mean? He said, now, now we learned, we learned that. He said, I, I want something else for you guys to learn. Here we are, we about, we're about 14 or 15 years old. I want to teach you guys how to fish and hunt now. Yeah, that's right. 
My dad you used to love to hunt, y'all. You, you guys know how it is. Go back into the wood, you know, squirrel hunting and rabbit hunting and all that kind of stuff, y'all. Oh, he would teach us how, how to squirrel hunt. We 14 years old, y'all. Out in the woods, you know. Just watch me. You always keep the keep the safety lock off, you know, on. You know, only way you turn it on is when you're getting ready to use it. I always hold the barrel down. And I mean, he just told us just right how to ease up, how, how, how to look for the squirrels and how to do all this kind of stuff, y'all. I mean, my dad taught us how to do everything, yo. Now, one more thing here. He said, I'm going to tell you something else. Sure as I tell you, you guys might be thinking this stuff is kind of funny, but you guys need to learn how to take care of the of the dishes, how, how, how to take care of the dishes, how to, how to keep the the kitchen clean the oven clean you know how to do how to cook how to boil eggs how to scramble your eggs how to make pancakes how to do grits how to, how to do biscuits how to do all of these things my dad said now your mother is gonna get in here and she is going to teach you guys how to cook and, and and know how to do some things because once you turn 18 or 19 years old you get out here into this real world and then all of a sudden your wife leave you and you looking stupid you know every time you look around you had Popeyes or McDonald's you know what I mean so we're gonna teach you guys everything you need to learn so that you can be a step ahead and be independent so, okay, okay, okay. We were like, oh, oh, that, that's for women. That, that ain't, we were just 14, 15 years old. So it finally dawned on us, yeah, I mean, we need to learn how to do this too. So, so often we'll get in the kitchen and watch mom, how she prepare the breakfast, how she do this to keep the, keep the kitchen clean, how to keep it swept up nice. And I mean, taught us all of these things at 14 years old, yo. Yeah. I tell you something, the more I think about all of this stuff, I really appreciate it, y'all. I mean, because for a while, when I turned 18, y'all, I was single for a while, y'all. But that always stuck in my mind. Okay, I can cook for myself. I can keep the house nice and clean. I would invite a, 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 little, a little girl over to the house, y'all. Ooh, the house is so nice and clean and smell so nice i mean there's other other little young guys out here i mean the house is all junky and dirty and smelly and and and, and pots and plates all over the sink and, and and food all over the place and roaches all over the place but wow you are very clean Wow, and the first thing the young lady said, I like that. A man who is very clean, he know how to take care of himself, he smell good. You know, the house is nice and clean, everything is in order. See, that stuff works. You have to teach your youngsters to be independent, baby. You gotta teach them how to be independent because if you don't, they are going to grow up loss not knowing what they're going to do and the moment that someone special leave them walk out on them everything just go downhill baby it reminds me now y'all y'all check this out y'all when i first got with that baby mother y'all you guys not gonna believe this patricia robson brought this baby mother over to my house y'all I mean, I'm just, I'm just kicked back, y'all, and bed just kicking back, y'all. It was a Saturday morning, so I say, well, you want to uh, get in the kitchen and just sort of fix us a little breakfast? I'm thinking that that she knew, you know, how to cook or something, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, I got it. I mean, she fronted her ass off, y'all. You didn't know how to do a damn thing, but you fronting. You know what I mean? So cut it cool. I'm like, okay. Cool. I'm going to just chill here for a minute and uh, get a few things together here in the room. And I'll be out there in a minute when you sort of, you know, got things almost ready. Less than five minutes, yo. All of a sudden, I see black smoke coming out the coming out the front kitchen, out, out the room, y'all, yeah, all over the place. Just black smoke. I'm like, what, 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 what the hell, what? I mean, this woman don't even know how to fry the eggs. She down there burning up the skillet. She had all the water burning out of the pot. She put toast in the oven. Had the toaster turn up sky high, the oven, and just left all the toast in the oven. All the bread, the toast, just burn up, y'all. Just burn up smoking black, y'all. Everything, black smoke just pouring out of, out of the room, y'all. I'm like, God dang, what the? I jumped up, run in, couldn't even hardly see, turning off everything, y'all. Open the front door, trying to get all that black smoke out of there. I'm like, what the, what? Hey, I thought you could cook. What, what, what's going on around here? You down there burn my damn house down. She almost burned the house down, yo. I'm not lying, that baby mother. So I'm like, hey, what, what's going on here? I, I don't know how to cook. I'm like, what? Here you are, a grown ass woman and you don't know how to cook. Patricia Robinson did not take the time to teach this woman how to do basic things around the house. Basic things like uh, 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 scrambling some eggs, cooking some grits, the proper way to, to toast your toes. You know what I mean? The bacon and the sausages. Oh, she said, my mother didn't teach me how to do anything. I'm like, what? Y'all see what I'm saying? So I feel like Patricia Robinson did that for, for a reason to keep that woman down and out so that she could have full control over this grown ass woman and that she would rely only on her. Hey, Patricia Robinson, you out there listening? Do not do that to my daughter. Do not let me repeat. I want my daughter to learn how to be independent. She needs to learn how to put clothes in the washer. She know how she needs to know how to put clothes in the, in, 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 the, in the dryer. She needs to know the basic how to cook and do different little things around the house. I mean, this is Hey, Alex, this is just something that you need to know to be independent because once you turn 18 and 19 and 20, you can't do nothing. I'm telling you, them little youngsters, they're going to be checking that stuff out. Hey, I got, I, got, I, got, I got a woman here. She can't even cook. She can't even boil water. She can't even scramble eggs, y'all. She burned up all the toast in the house, y'all. And every time we look around, we eating at McDonald's. Y'all know what I'm saying, yo. They got some young women like that, yo. They can't do jack shit. I'm just going to keep it real, baby. So now, I say this to all these young people out here. This is a must learn, must know how to do because once you turn 18 and 19 you pretty much are on your own once you decided to to shack up or or, or get married or whatever i mean try to try to at least know how to do some things for yourself and be independent you don't want to grow up feeling like you can't do nothing for yourself i mean like the way this Patricia Robinson did that baby mother she wanted her to be down and out 
she did not want this woman to know how to do nothing y'all to only to only rely and depend on Patricia Robinson this is what this was all about having full control over this woman and I found out the hard way that this woman could not do jack shit I'm just keeping it real baby so please Patricia Robinson you took on the responsibility to take on my daughter keeping her away from her father see her father was going to show her from the man's side of it you know the way a whole lot of things should have been she would have been a whole lot smarter a whole lot wiser you know what I mean but you took all that away from her Patricia Robinson so now you make sure you teach my daughter how to be a proper, a properly trained young lady where she know how to take care of herself if needed. You know, once she turned 18, 19, you know what I mean, or in college and what this, this or that, whatever, she she would know how to, to go into the kitchen, how to cook her own breakfast and how to how to do different little things and how to wash your clothes and how to wash the dishes and how how to how to iron her own little old clothes yo you know your 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 clothes looking all wrinkled you got a important interview or something hey you know show her how to set the iron board the ironing board up and put a little water into the iron for it to steam and how to set the the iron and how to properly iron see you took on that responsibility patricia robinson so you make dang sure you take out the time and you teach my daughter you stepped up to the plate to run and hide out and take the whole full responsibility so you better make sure you teach her if she's not teaching you alex just tell her about herself i mean i want, I want to learn how to cook I want to know what I need to do here, how to iron my own clothes here. You know what I mean? You know, teach her the basic little things around the house. Okay, okay, so the proper way to brush your teeth. Okay, it's like this, you know, and how to rinse. Okay, now you're in the bathroom. Okay, always clean up behind yourself. Clean up the sink, make it look nice. I mean, my father and mother taught us even how to clean up the restroom y'all okay here's the here's the toilet bowl cleaner here's the little brush put some ajax in the toilet clean it up real nice and pretty you know some wipes or some towels or whatever and clean this stuff up baby clean the sink up real nice i mean keep everything clean the tub up y'all there's some people jump in the in the shower and in the tub y'all you see a big old ring around the tub look like for months for years y'all they just jump they just get in get out and a big old ass black ring like a railroad like like a race car track is around the tub y'all all the way around the tub a race track y'all i just i done seen this before y'all in my younger days had a young girlfriend i was like about 22 y'all 23 I goes over to her house she had a little apartment up yeah. I was getting ready to take a shower and I mean the way I was raised and brought up y'all yeah. I was like used to everything being nice and clean y'all yeah. I goes in the bathroom pull back the shower god damn baby what happened in here look like you got a racetrack around you around you bathtub look at that shit that shit is so black a racetrack all the way around the tub yo and 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 footprints all in the bottom of the tub like hey 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 what what's going on here <laughs> man i can't i can't i can't take no shower in this hog pen <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, I tell you what, right there, see, that was a turn off. You don't take care, you don't, you don't clean out the, 
out the bathtub, you don't clean out the sink. I mean, you got dishes piled up. See what I'm saying? That is a turn off, y'all. If you want to lose your little friendship with somebody, we just had a house looking nasty. You know, the bathtub all messed up, everything, the toilet all dirty, the kitchen all piled up with plates and kitchen in the, in the kitchen, and then you you appear to be all lazy and stuff, y'all. Them youngsters be looking at that stuff and that some someone just lay right in there like a damn pig or hog shit. Fuck it. Be right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't matter to me, baby. It don't matter to me, baby. Oh no. Oh no. Not Curdy Cool. I ain't wallin' in nobody damn hog pen, yo. So let's get this great right now. Nobody hog pen. So Patricia Robson. You took on the road to steal my daughter, run and hide out. You are pretending to be her father, her mother. You make dang show. You teach her everything she need to learn to be a, a, a nice, independent young woman. You know what I mean? If she's not doing this, Alex, well, you are going to have to take up some classes. If Patricia Robinson not teaching you nothing around the house, which is very important so that you can learn to be independent, because if you don't learn these things, you grow up, now you will be like dependent on Patricia Robinson for everything, so you'll go running back to Patricia Robinson. Like that baby mama. See, she is stuck like Chuck. She can't do a damn thing. She can't boil water. She can't she can't fry an egg. She can't put a, a, a slice of light bread in, in the oven, in a toaster. Y'all know what I mean? Now, when you can't put bread in a toaster, there's something really wrong with you. <laughs> so, yo. I don't want my daughter growing up to be no dummy. I'm serious, man. I'm serious, Patricia Robinson. You took on that responsibility. You make sure, okay, you teach her. You jumped on the wagon, call yourself being smart by taking my daughter away and hiding her out throughout all these years. You make dang sure you teach her the proper way how to be a young lady and how to be a lady when she grew up that that things that can help benefit and help her once she grow up and becomes an adult. Y'all know what I mean? I mean, cause that baby mother, Patricia Robinson had her so messed up, y'all come to find out that woman couldn't do nothing. Couldn't cook. I mean, I'm not, I'm not out here bashing the baby mother, but it is what it is, you know? And that's probably another reason why she couldn't really, really stay with nobody because she knew deep down in her heart she couldn't do nothing. She was totally dependent on Patricia Robinson because that's the way Patricia Robinson wanted her to be dependent on her. See, most people would want their kids and teach their kids to be independent. Teach them all the little things they need to know and do while they are young to only make them better and to help them to be independent y'all these little things do help out once they turn 18 19 20 in college this stuff help them y'all so for, for these baby mothers or grandmothers out here y'all stop being selfish you guys want you you guys want the whole big old package but you want to sit up on you like like this Patricia Robinson. She wants to just sit up on her big ragged ass, y'all. And collect all this money into the house, y'all. Yeah, that's right. I call her a raggedy. Collect all this money running hide out from a from a father's from a father who 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 wanted to have some contact with his with his kid, his daughter. Have Patricia Robinson sit on a raggedy ass and mess everything up, y'all. Now you make sure. You teach my daughter everything she need to know 
since you wants to be Mr. Henderson, Grandma, adopt Grandma, Mr. Mr. Grandma, since you want want to be Mr. Mr. Henderson, Miss Grandma, well you make dang sure you teach my daughter how to be independent, baby. I mean, when I was a kid, my mother and my father took turns teaching us how to do the necessary things that was very important to us once we grew up into the world y'all we i mean we already knew how to do a whole lot of things we know not to let the kitchen get all dirty y'all plates piling all up oh okay 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 keep the, the dishes clean y'all okay y'all y'all know what i mean this stuff is very important for anybody, in any, any youngster. This is the time to learn how to do as much as you can because this is only beneficial to you and it's very helpful to most youngsters so that they can grow up and be better. You know, better and independent and everything will go smoothly. And, and you won't have a whole lot of problems once you like get into these relationships and you're out here not knowing what to do and feeling lost so you're just gonna make yourself look bad and all that stuff is just gonna reflect back okay what what kind of what kind of family you from they didn't teach you how to how to wash dishes they didn't teach you how to wash clothes they they didn't teach you how to Sweep up the floor. They didn't teach you how. Okay, you don't let the trash run over you. You get trash bags. You get the trash out of here. They they don't teach you how to do nothing. People be looking at that. What? I mean, I, during my younger years, yeah. I I remember one time, Curtis Cool, a young lady. I was about 23, yeah. Again, invited me over to the house, y'all. Yeah. I was like, I mean, y'all check this out now. I could not believe this myself, y'all. My man, she was like, oh yeah, you know, you are just so cool. And, and what I like about you, or you, you are so smart and you are like a handyman. You know, you, 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 you know a lot of things and, and you, I just like that. I, I said, well, this is really my upbringing, the way I was brought up. You know, I, I'm so thankful, you know, and grateful that my folks took the time to teach me. And I used to thank them every single day. Appreciate, you know, y'all y'all did all the different things to, to teach us to be real men out here, y'all. And so she was saying, I'm just so grateful and thankful, you know, to, to, to have met somebody like you. So anyway, she, she invited me over, y'all. It was like a bye. But what, about 7.30, 8 o'clock one night? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I walked, I knocked on the front door. Boom, 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 boom. Walked in the house, y'all. Roaches was all over the floor, y'all. Look over here and dishes were piled up. I jumped back. What? What? I said, this place is infested. Look, that, 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 that's why, that is why, you know, you got all this stuff going on in here. Look, 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 you got your dishes piled. Oh, I was going to get to that. I was going to get to that. I just spin around and walked out of the house, y'all. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is not the type young lady Curdy Cool want to be around. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I spin around, baby, and eased on out. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. I left, I left, I left my phone in the car. I'll be right back. I, I forgot my phone. I forgot my phone. Y'all ever, y'all ever did that before? I forgot my phone, yeah. And so, she said, okay, okay. And in the corner of my eyes, I'm like, damn, look at this shit here. I can imagine what it looked like in a bedroom, y'all. <laughs> 
I was like, God damn. Roaches all over the place, man. Dishes piled all up in the sink. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me go get my phone out. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Just hold that thought. I'll be right back. And so I just, I just ease on out the front, out the front room, yeah. Just ease on out. And uh, as soon as I got out and closed the door, like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Curdy Cool will not be back. <laughs> hey, y'all, I just eased on out of the place, y'all. And never came back. And she called it, oh, what happened, what happened? What happened? Why, why you didn't come back? I said, you don't, you don't, you don't know why I didn't come back. Sorry, but I'm, I'm just not used to women, young ladies who can't take care of the house, you know? Your first impression should be your best impression. You invited me over to your house and that was the worst impression that I have ever seen. I just told her just like that. I'm sorry, but uh-uh. I'm not about that. I, I'm not trying to break you down or nothing like that, but that is so crazy. You invited me over to your house, and the house is all dirty and stuff. You know, you got dishes piled all up and roaches all over the place. Uh-uh. I can't, I can't deal with that, mama. Cannot deal with that. I'm sorry, but you know, sorry. I wish you better luck with the next person, but I'm not the one. See ya. You know what I mean? I, I had I had to just just straight up walk out on some women in my time because of that kind of stuff, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to to to. To, to take care of the house or how to how to take care of themselves yeah I mean I, I can't deal with that kind of stuff I have to be able to keep my house clean myself clean keep everything nice and clean y'all and so that's this is why I'm making this video Trisha Robinson took it on her own to keep my daughter away from me because she's pretending to be her father and her mother and running and hiding out here with my daughter when I did not do anything to this crazy ass woman, yeah. So you make sure you teach my daughter everything that she need to know. If she's not teaching you nothing on legs, maybe you need to talk to her, have a talk with her. Look, you know, my dad said I, I need to learn how to cook. My dad said I need, need to learn how to wash dishes. My dad said I need to, to know how to do the basic things around the house because this, this kind of stuff is very helpful when you grow up. I mean, you you can be independent and, and, and not be all messed up and not knowing what to do. I'm just being real about it, baby. Hey, baby mother, you make sure that Adopted grandma teach my daughter how to do some things. I want her to be a leader and not a follower to a whole bunch of BS, bunch of BS people. Y'all out here misleading her and messing up her mind, and screwing up her mind, and not showing her nothing or teaching her nothing. Y'all, yeah, y'all know what I mean. But sit out here and learn how to be schemers and scammers. You know, look, Patricia Robinson. Look. That raggedy lifestyle, you pull, you, you pull all that raggedy mess on Curdy Cool. Now, you make dang sure you are teaching my daughter bottom nine. You run and hide out, you think you are the bomb. So now, you teach my daughter what she needs to learn. You know what I mean? You took on the whole responsibility, Patricia Robinson. I'm talking about this this adopted grandmother out here. Playing Miss Boss Lady out here. Y'all think like she the shit with everything out here in this world. Like everything belongs to her. You know what I mean? So now you got it on. So now you teach my daughter how to be 
an independent woman. Do not screw her mind up to be a wicked witch and, and only thinking about how to misuse. Don't, don't, don't just think you're going to be out here teaching my daughter how to misuse people, how to abuse people, how to manipulate people, how to want to get something for nothing, and how to take advantage of people. Do not teach my daughter that wicked that wicked lifestyle I want my daughter to be a very intelligent young lady with a good head on her shoulder a good mind and know what she want in this world y'all know what I mean so don't mess my daughter up Patricia Robinson you know you 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 playing this miss boss lady out here running and hiding like a big ugly cow with that raggedy ass lifestyle that that's 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 raggedy it ain't no other way to look at it. You know, right ass lifestyle, baby. 16 years, you running a ragged ass home with that ragged ass lifestyle. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Sorry, sorry. Just don't mess my daughter up. You, you did enough damage as it is by parental alienating her away from her father and destroying her connection with her father. Anytime any parent destroyed the connection from the other parent, that is raggedy, baby. An adopted grandmother at that created all that raggedy ass shit. And then run and hide out, then tell all kind of lies, then try to destroy the other parent character. Kind of mess is that. When my daughter have a very genuine, authentic father out here, and you messed all that up. With all your stupidity. I'm talking about this Patricia Robinson messing everybody up just for a check. Mess the baby mother up for an SSI check. Collecting child support check. You collecting all this money. You won't even let my daughter say hello, Dad. Y'all know what I mean? You got some serious issues, Patricia Robinson. And I just keep on exposing you, giving you your little medicine. I'm giving you a little medicine. You want your medicine? You want your medicine from Curdy Cool? Do Curdy Cool have to give you some more medicine? Give you your little medicine? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Curdy Cool will keep on giving you your medicine. Yeah! Because you you don't act like a normal woman. I hear, I hear running, running with a man's kid. You ain't no blood, no kin, no nothing out here. Y'all know what I mean? For 16 years, y'all. What? You know, you, you don't have no respect for me, Patricia Robinson. My daughter, you don't have no respect for me. And you collecting money off of me. And the baby mother. And you don't have no respect for my daughter's father. When I help bring, bring my daughter into this world, you laying up on your big lazy raggedy ass. Only thinking about a check and what you can get. And messing everybody up just for Patricia Robinson's sake. That is raggedy, raggedy, raggedy. Hey y'all, I'm in this little old show. I just had to lay it down <laughs> one more time about this Patricia Robinson. Hey y'all, y'all be good in the neighborhood, yo. All my new subscribers, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to my true story, yo. I mean, it's just some stuff going on out here, y'all. It is what it is. I just had to talk about my true story. I mean, it is what it is, you know. So, anyway, crazy cool. I'm going to end this little show. Y'all be good in the neighborhood. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful night. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Curdy, Curdy! That is Curdy Cool, baby. Okay, bye.